Jessup City leaders are speaking out on the investigation into the drowning death of an eight-year-old. It happened two weeks ago. WJCL 22 News' AJ Sisson joins us live now from our newsroom. And AJ, they're asking for patience. Brooke, I'll tell you, over the last two weeks, residents in Wayne County have held protests over the sheriff's office determination of no foul play in the death of Noah Bush. But since then, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation and the Wayne County Sheriff's Office continues to investigate this, but Jessup City leaders are asking for patience. It's a tragedy to our community, and uh, I, I can't imagine the family's grief. This is the scene of the first protest two weeks ago after Noah Bush's death, determined to be no foul play. Jessup residents have held at least five more protests since. We are heartbroken about this. Um, not only do I serve as a city manager, but I'm also a state board of education member. Anytime a student passes away um, of any community, you know, it's always something that's very personal to me. Georgia Bureau of Investigation got involved the day after Noah's death. Now, WJCL 22 received the first update from the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. It says in part, we realize that some feel that this investigation is taking too long, but we want to make sure that all evidence that can be gotten is obtained. With a juvenile involved case, the procedures involving first appearance and presentation of the case is different from that involving adults. They added they are sending video evidence for enhancement to determine what charges, if any, need to be taken. All we're asking people to do right now, let's have a little bit of patience and uh, let them finish their process because we, we want to see resolution as much as anybody does. We certainly want due process to be followed. I served as a police officer for 14 years. I understand how investigations work and they take time, but we want to make sure that the process is moving forward. We want to see the process go through and if there's justice needs to be dealt, then we expect that to be dealt. It is unclear when this investigation will be finished, but I've reached out to the Wayne County Sheriff's Office over and over again and will continue to until we get the answers. And you can find all of that new information when it does come out online and on air, WJCL.com in Savannah. AJ Sisson, WJCL 22 News. A lot of people invested in this case. AJ, thank you so much for that report.